Hey everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and it's been a while I have posted a new video. So today I have a very useful video for every WordPress website owner. So today I will show you how to use WP Mail SMTP plugin to use your Gmail SMTP server and it's completely free everything and it is perfect for website owners who want their emails to not end up in spam folder and um, always end up in users inbox so you can use this plugin and gmail smtp server api to send um, all your emails from your website so by default what wordpress does is it uses the php function to send emails and a lot of times when using shared hosting your uh, uh, server ips are blacklisted or um, uh, gmail do not trust it enough or other email providers and it ends up in spam so you can use this smtv plugin to make sure that all your emails do not go to spam and instead it goes to the inbox and uh, but it is limited the limitation of this is um, it is perfect for website which send low number of emails but if you are someone who wants to send thousands of marketing emails newsletters every day then this is not for you but if you are uh, uh, just need to send few important emails like if you have a contact form or um, reset plugin or notification wordpress notifications or anything like that as i'm also using this plugin on my main website smarthealthguides.com and um, i have been using it for quite a while and um, after using this never a uh, single email uh, end up ended up in spam folder so i will show you how to um, use this without further delay so the first thing you have to do is go to cloud.google.com and i will put a link in the description so um, it is convenient for you and um, if you have not registered here then you will see an option to register somewhere here and it's completely free all you need is your gmail id and once you have done that click on this option console and this will take you to the google cloud console and um, from here what you have to do is um, like go here and click on create a new project then name your project anything like test email api and leave location default and then click on create okay it must be small let's delete it okay you can name it anything it doesn't really matter much um, it just should be relevant so you can identify which project it is then once this project creation is done you will be able to see this notification here then click on select project and um, see this option here make sure the correct project is selected and once it is done scroll down and you will be able to see this option in getting started section explore and enable api click on this and from here click on plus click on this plus icon um, enable APIs and services and from here in the search bar search for Gmail and then click on Gmail API option and then click on enable okay it will take a few seconds meanwhile let's go back to the WordPress dashboard and download the plugin so simply search here for WP email SMTP and this plugin i have already installed it just install and activate it okay and once you have activated it on the left sidebar you will be able to see this option um, wp mail smtp click on settings and then scroll down and um, select gmail okay now so scroll down and we need this two things client id and client secret for this to work so let's go to the google cloud dashboard okay it is still working so um, once this is done <coughs> sorry click on this option create credentials and from here select uh, gmail api and then um, from here select the first second option web server and uh, just then click on user data 
and then click on what credentials do I need okay um, authorization screen let's select um, uh, client ID okay it does um, want us to set up the authorization screen let's select not now okay from here um, put your website uh, address here like this is the test website I am using for this tutorial okay and here in the authorized redirect URI go here and you will see this option just copy this URL from here and paste it exactly like that here and then okay it is done okay now click on this refresh and set up this uh, consent screen okay now this is the latest tutorial available on YouTube and most of the old tutorials um, the interface was different so they will not work and this is the, this is the only tutorial this, that is why I created this tutorial um, here select external then click on create and from here um, type your application name just name it anything I will put test email API tutorial app okay leave the image and then um, put your support email here just keep a default and then put here the authorized domains so I'll just put the put your domain name here without HTTPS and anything just simply your domain name okay and then your application home page so I'll put my home page here then in the privacy privacy put your privacy policy link here so um, like uh, I'm on my main website this is uh, my privacy policy page so I'll put its link here but uh, this just is just a tutorial web uh, test website so I have not set up a, a proper link here but just put a put the right link here privacy policy okay and then application terms of service it is optional but so if you have it on your website you can put it here else leave it so after you have done this click on save and that's it it is done now let's go back to the previous tab and then click on refresh okay now it is working so click on this create uh, authorized client ID okay it is done and now what you have to do is um, copy this client ID and make sure this uh, do not show it to anyone it is a it should be secret okay so then go to your uh, WordPress dashboard paste it here and then click on done and once you have done this um, click on uh, just click on the done option and it will redirect you to this page and from here you will be able to see the client um, the client ID you just created application then click on this edit icon this pencil icon sorry I have bad throat today <coughs> and scroll down um, okay here we need the client secret so again it should be secret so do not share it with anyone then paste it here and um, then click on the save settings okay then again scroll down and then uh, select the click on this option allow plugins to send emails using your Google account now select your Google account here okay now this it will show you that the app isn't verified which is obvious but um, we know we can trust this app because we just created it so there is uh, you do not have to worry about anything just click on advanced and then you will be able to see this option go to this go to your website your website your uh, domain name will be here click on this option and um, it will show what permissions this app needs click on allow and then again allow
and that's it you'll see the, uh, that you have successfully linked the current site with your google api project and now you can start sending emails to gmail so guys we have set up this wp mail smtp plugin um, fully um, successfully and this is the easiest tutorial i have spent uh, quite a lot of time trying again and again because all the other tutorials were very old and the interface was completely different so um, to save your time and um, and from the from email folder uh, option if you want to use your business or like a professional email like you can see here um, all these emails are connected to my gmail account and i have another tutorial about this <clears throat> sorry so if you connect any email to your gmail inbox then you will able you will be able to see this options for example this is the test.myvb security domain so i can se select this option contact at the rate myvb security.net to make my emails look more professional and um, from here put your site name here like um, test my baby security okay and um, you or you can put your your name here whatever name it is and then select this option force my name so all the outgoing emails will have this from name and um, from email uh, by default the force from email is selected so any application on your uh, any plugin on your wordpress uh, will use this email as the sender email so if you have a contact form anything you don't have to update it by default it will use this email and smtp function so now all your emails will straight go to the uh, inbox and not end up in spam i hope you found this tutorial useful and um, to show it in action you can use this email test okay let's save this save the settings um, remember to save the settings then click on email test okay and um, you can let's okay best of be this is my email id so let's send a test email and see if it works okay it has been sent you can also see the email log i think it should it is available in the only in the pro version so um go back to email so if you want advanced features uh, but you normally you will not really need it so all these options are only available in the pro version okay and so let's um, check my inbox if i got any email okay you can see here this uh, it is from test my bb security uh, because we selected the force name else it would be something from wordpress something like that and you can send see here uh, this is the congrats test email was sent successfully and um, that's it and the main thing is you can see here it is uh, the from email address is contact at the rate mybbsecurity.net so now this looks really professional and um, it you can see here it went straight to the inbox and not to the spam folder so um, please leave your feedback in the comments how you like this tutorial and uh, if there is any improvement i can do sorry about the voice um, i have a bad throat today so um, i hope you overall you found this tutorial useful and easy to follow please leave your uh, leave a like and um, uh, your feedback in the comments that um, that helps me in make improving my video and making more useful videos for you so I will see you in the next video.